Just the OG, the ones that have been here for a long time, are opened already. So there's one across the corner as well that's opened. And every other shop on the street is still closed. It's too early. Right now it's just a little bit past 7 o'clock, um, really early in the morning. As you can see, all of the shops are still closed. Um, we're in the main part of uh, Singapore city and while the city is still waking up, find yeah. our first place to eat some hawker center food before we finish it off with a kayak breakfast, which is a really popular breakfast dish here in Singapore. So right now we're going to Market Street Hawker Center. It's just off Clark Key, and apparently there's some good hawker food there, so go check it out. Get whatever. Oh, is that a potato? I don't know what that is. Potato, yeah, yeah. Oh no, okay, okay, okay. That's a yams? Yeah, I think that's yam. I think it's a yam. It's a yam. Because it's still early in the morning, I think she only has one dish available, so that must be the mi soto, which is what we're getting. So that looks a little bit more interesting to try. Can't wait. Alright, so it looks like this is a noodle dish with some chicken and lots of spices and chili on top. Um, and some veggies like beans were out inside as well. So I'm keen to taste this because I think it's going to be very spicy. Mixing up all of the flavors into the soup. I think the base is like a uh, chicken broth. Let's try that. It's like a sort of like a laksa but without the coconut cream. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's like a chicken laksa without the cream. Just a light version of it. Like to try some? Alright, what shall we have next? I reckon we should go on and get our uh, tujo noodles. Wait till me. Serve fried noodles. Yeah. Let's get one. Yeah? Ooh, the sign. Which one? Ah, oh, yes, the sign's on. Tujiu Kui Tao Mi is a popular noodle dish made with flat noodles. It can be egg or rice noodles seafood and a flavorful broth originating from the Tujiu region of China. All right, so right now we have the Kwai Tao Mi. It's a Tujiu dish. And what we got is the dry noodles with mushrooms, a bit of dried, what's this? 
shouldn't be touching with my hands, but it looks like pork skin. Garnished with some green onions. And the sauce that they put in there, it seems a bit chilly as well with a bit of satay, so that looks very, very interesting. On our right over here, we have our soup base. So in here we have a piece of wonton, some fish balls, and some fish cake diced up, and also our pork mince. So this is your traditional pork soup where they generally mix this into your noodle soup. Um, but we decided to have it separate today because we wanted to have a bit of both worlds. So mm -hmm. having the dry noodles is obviously going to have a bit more flavoursome with this extra dry sauce that they put in. And of course the soup is going to really help cleanse our palate and make sure that we get a refreshed taste each time we jump onto this one. So let's get this one first. So, uh, look at the kaya toast line, that's crazy. Mixing it up, mixing it up. Ah, I can smell that. I definitely can smell the mushroom. That's yeah. A, that's a, a stronger smell here. Is that even satay? Imagine it's not even satay in here. It, ha it has to be. How spicy is it compared to like the last dish? Is it like bearable? Not as spicy at all. The other one was really strong in um, satay, even in the base of the soup. But this one, it's very, yeah, it's an exo sauce, so it's not really satay or anything. So spicy level is probably a one or two. Okay, but that's good. Very rich, very homey. Um, just what you'd expect out of a pork-based broth. But mm. it's really good. I can't wait for you to try it. So. Well, I like to try dry noodles, especially if it ever comes with soup, and you can separate them too. Is because then you can get to try two dishes at the same time. of sweet, savory, creamy, eggy, crunchy, buttery, oh my god, it's so good. As we finished our breakfast at Market Street Walker Centre, we were ready for more adventure before our flight to our next city. So we checked out of our capsule hotel and reflected on our incredible 17 hour layover in Singapore. From the stunning gardens by the bay to the vibrant nightlife of Clark Quay, we had an unforgettable time. And there's still one more part of our journey that we cannot wait to share with you, but you'll have to stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more exciting travel videos. We hope to see you at our next adventure.